If people do not cooperate, he will be defeated. I say we should kill Yuzrasif. If we do not, he will become a power against the temple. And then we will not be able to stop his progress and growth with any power. I think you're exaggerating. A mere interpretation mustn't be given so much importance. This temple mustn't become a means to help Yusasif grow. According to the reports I've received, the story of our defeat has spread everywhere. It's become the talk of the town. If we keep silent, the people will be against us. Tomorrow, the golden ceremony will be held for Yusasif. Go amongst the people and cast doubt about what Yusasif tells people and asks them to do. Do anything to stop the people trusting him. Otherwise, as he said, Yusasif will become an unrivaled power. 
I lived for many years with you, Zarsif, inside Potiphar's palace. At that time, he didn't overtly talk about his god. But the palace residents followed him and his god unknowingly. They came to the temple less and brought fewer gifts for Amon, all because of Yuzarsif. All right. Get prepared for tomorrow's ceremony. From the west. They went to bury Amenhotep the third. Forty days had to pass since mummification. Today was his burial. I like Pharaoh Amenhotep the fourth. I've heard he's against war and killing. But I am against him. Because he is against Amon. Amenhotep is very kind. I hope he doesn't prefer the needy to the rich. Is that user Sif, the High Advisor? Yes, he is the High Dream Interpreter who defeated all the Dream Interpreters and Priests of the Temple. He has a pleasant face. How gentle and kind-hearted he looks.
Today, I, Amenhotep IV, Pharaoh of the Great Egypt, I appoint the knowledgeable and sagacious Yuzar Sif, High Dream Interpreter, my High Advisor, and the Head of Agriculture in Egypt. Today, he will also receive the highest honor in Egypt. The Golden Position. kindness and generosity of the great and wise pharaoh of Egypt. While his highness was giving me the golden position, I was reminded of something from my past. When I was in Potiphar's palace, the times when Lady Zaleika's maid, Karimama, had wanted to humiliate and belittle me, she would call me a wandering shepherd. And when His Highness gave me the responsibility of the treasury and agriculture of Egypt, I wonder how a wandering shepherd could take on such a huge responsibility. <laughs> Allow me to talk to you in the way that I have learned and the way that I like. I consider myself the servant of the people, not their master, lord, or ruler. I ask you, the people of Egypt, to help me to do my serving duty well. You know that Egypt is facing seven years of drought and famine and seven years of rainfall and prosperity. My promise to you is this. If you sow seeds on a rock, they will grow. So, sow as much as you are able from this day on. Farmers who sow extra grain and give the surplus to the government silos will eventually own the farm on which they work. I know all the land in Egypt belongs to the Pharaoh. I will explain this in detail later. Who guarantees that you won't sell the wheat? Back to the people at a higher price. Buying, selling, collecting, and storing the wheat will be done by your own representatives. 
Government agents will be simply supervising. You will keep the amount of wheat equal to your annual consumption, as well as seeds for the coming year. The rest you can sell to the government. If you are efficient and capable rulers, you must decide with determination. And then the people must obey you. If the people supervise the government's actions, they will be helping the government. If they are uninformed, they will be indifferent. Since he has answered you. Everybody can store his own wheat. Why should we give it to him? In the near future, we will build extensive facilities to store wheat. It is your decision to store your own wheat if you choose. However, if your wheat is destroyed for any reason, the government will not give you what has been stored. The government will give wheat only to those from whom we have received wheat. By giving wheat to the government to keep it, farmers will both own the agricultural land and save themselves from the danger of famine. bring wheat from all over Egypt to you in Thebes to facilitate the transportation and to receive wheat rations we will build wheat silos for any city in that city to facilitate ease of transportation we heard what you said to tackle the famine we have devised plans which I will tell the people about at a later day Why didn't we go to Yusar Sif and talk to him? Firstly, they wouldn't allow it. Secondly, I would guess Joseph is unwilling to talk to you. And why? What did you want to say? Did you want to say that you love him? Or explain why you kept him in jail for so long? Doesn't Yuzar Sif know that all the farming land belongs to Pharaoh Amenhotep? Yuzar Sif is just an inexperienced youth who is uprooting the Egyptian government with all of this. Within a few years of giving the government lands to people, the Pharaoh will become weak and without support. But Amon's wealth and farms will remain untouched, won't they? So. We'd be better off not stopping Yuzarsif's actions in agriculture. We must only prevent him from becoming powerful in the government. If we act cleverly, we can pave the way for Yuzarsif's fall. We 
We must get the cooperation of two dignitaries in the palace. Ooh, your Reverend. The first is Haramah of the palace guard. And the second, Lady T, Amenhotep's mother. Do you think they'll cooperate? That depends on how much we try. If Haramah and Lady T cooperate with us, Yuzasif will be defeated. Inarus! Inarus! Oh, what are you doing here? We were free. Free. He free. He freed us! I know you were freed. It's all right. I know you were freed. You want to see Excellency use us? Yes. 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 yes! yes, we did! All right. Don't worry. Wait right here, and I will call you. Okay! All right. All right. Stay here. Where were you? Excellency Yuzarsif has been looking for you. Looking for me? You are Malik. Yes, yes, I am. Malik. Malik, son of Zar. Very well. Please wait, and I'll be back. Wait here. May I, Excellency? What is it, Inarus? Go on. The prisoners of Zavira want to see you. Will you see them? They finally come here. Of course. Bring them in here. I've also found Malek, son of Tsar. He's here. Outside? With the inmates, waiting to see you. I will go to them. Outside. What are you doing here? Greetings to the Greetings, Mr. Oh, 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 you? How are you, sir? Thank you. Thank you for freeing us. Thank you, sir. Thank you for freeing us. How are you, my friend? Thank you for freeing us. Thank you for freeing us. So good to be a Good to see you. It is because of you. Disturbed. It is me, O prophet of God. The remorseful, regretful Malik who sold you as a slave. What are you saying? Do I look like a slave? By God's mercy, no. You look like the free dignitaries. But I am a wandering captive. I haven't left Thebes for the 20 years since I sold you. I couldn't leave you no matter how hard I tried. Why did you do that? I thought you had come to Egypt for trading. May God forgive me for making you wander like this. I still feel guilty for selling the prophet of God as a slave. But it wasn't such a bad deal after all. You sold Joseph and gained his love. 
and I became a slave one day to become a ruler. <laughs> I stayed here to compensate for the past. I won't leave you ever. You owe me nothing. But you can help me with the mission that God has given me. Yes, I need everybody's help, please. We have come to be at your disposal for our whole lives. Excellency Yuzarsif, if you allow, we want always to be with you. We can't do anything important. But we will do whatever we are able to. Order us to do anything. We will devote our lives to your will. This is wonderful, because I need you now more than ever before. I think all those years of imprisonment together was for just such a day. You must help me in governing the affairs of Egypt. Come with me. Come with you in these shabby clothes. I see all of your hearts. Bright and pure. Your appearance is not important. Come. What people to bring into a palace. Greetings, Commander Horamah. What is it, Apaki? The High Priest, Eminence Ankmahu, has asked you to meet him at the temple, if you have time. What for? I have no idea. He simply said he was eager to meet you. Very well. I will go. Come in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to see you are all free. Thank you so much. Thank you. For Thank you. We are happy to serve you. Excellency Yuzasif, Mimi Sabu requests a meeting with you. Show him in. I'm free! Lady Zaleika freed me! <laughs> Lady Zaleika freed me! She did. So Lady Zaleika knows how to free people as well. She doesn't just know how to jail them. <laughs> May God free her from her own prison to fulfill her own desire. She defamed many people and made trouble for many others. I feel for poor Excellency Potiphar. I know he suffered a great deal. Excellency Yusasif, don't you want to punish Zolaker and Potiphar? You must have your revenge. They must be punished. I forgave them. I hope God forgives them as well. I just don't want to see them. What I mean is, I don't want to see their shame. Inarus. Yes, Excellency. Dress my friends properly and bring them to me. Of course. Go with Inarus. He will dress you. Come with me. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Excellency. Well, my old friend, tell me, how were you freed? After being freed by you, Lady Zaleika returned to the palace. Remembering her old love for you, she freed me. <laughs> How is Excellency Potiphar? I heard he was ill. He is... He is suffering. He isn't well at all. Because he remembers his cruelty to you, he suffers for that. May God heal him. Excellency Yuzarsif, 
I saw Priest Apaki talking to Commander Haramhab. What was Priest Apaki doing in Pharaoh's palace? I fear they may bribe Commander Haramhab. His presence here is dangerous. He will take palace secrets to the temple. I think now that we have recognized him, he isn't so dangerous. We can identify the palace informers through him. So we must watch him. Yes, Excellency. Please don't bow to me anymore. It's become a habit. Then get out of the habit. <laughs> All right. Excellency Haramhab requests permission to enter. to the servant of the gods, high priest of Amman's temple, Eminence Ankhmahu. Greetings to the capable and efficient commander of Amenhotep's palace. Come in, sit beside me. Priest Apaki said you had summoned me, and I obey. And I am thankful. I'm happy that you're here. There is a matter which occupies my mind. I thought it necessary to talk to you about it. Uh, I studied the past of the newly appointed High Advisor, to Amenhotep. Um, what was his name again? Yuzarsif. Yes, Yuzarsif. That's right. Yuzarsif. He has never believed in our gods, even as a child. When he was in Potiphar's palace, he worshipped an unseen god. And now that he has achieved power, he will continue to fight the Temple of Amman. Besides that, he is a foreigner. He is from Canaan. It is a shame that a foreigner has taken charge of affairs in an ancient country like Egypt. An enemy of Amman is ruling us in the city of Amman. Thebes! I ask you as a follower of Amman, not to allow Yusasif to gain power in the palace. If he continues the way he's going, he will soon replace Amenhotep himself. However, Egypt still has capable and loyal commanders like you. Thank you, Your Eminence. I love Egypt, and I worship Amman. I respect the temple and you. I will do whatever I can to help. Although, please remember, I cannot forget my loyalty to Amenhotep. I agree, absolutely. However, Yusasif is not Egypt, nor the temple of Amman, nor... Amenhotep. We know that, like us, you are without a doubt suffering because a heathen foreigner has become powerful in Egypt. Perhaps you are unable to reveal what is in your heart. But let me explain. The servants of Amman Temple and I are looking for a faithful and powerful son like you 
to replace Potiphar in the land of our ancestors. Not a foreigner. I'm sure you are aware that Potiphar is ill. He will not last long because of the trauma Yusasif and Soleika have caused him. Nobody refuses power. And nobody likes foreigners to gain power in the land of his ancestors. All right then. If that is right, the temple has ways and means that can help you to attain the position you deserve. But regarding Yuzarsif, as long as he is supported by Amenhotep and no high treason is seen, I will not act against him. Of course, treason in all its forms must be considered, including the treason of fighting Amman. There is no doubt that Yuzarsif is an enemy of Amman. He doesn't even hide his animosity. I agree with that one. His Excellency's condition is critical. I did tell him that excitement and anger would be detrimental to his health. Although it seems that he has not avoided them at all. He must stay absolutely calm and take regularly the medicine I have prescribed him. Your condition is not much better than his. Take care of yourself. Prepare the medicine Excellency Sinue has prescribed for Excellency Potiphar and keep the palace absolutely calm. Your presence hurts my heart more than anything else here. I feel calm when you're not here. The one who could have calmed my heart in this situation was you, Zasif. But I lost him because of Zaleika's cruelty and my stupidity. Now I must die a lonely man and go to the West. One of the informers is Lady T. I saw Priest Apaki enter Lady T's room, 
and he stayed for quite a while. So they have also invited her to join with Ankh-Mahu. How can we find out what's going on between them? It's obvious. They don't want Joseph interfering with the government of Egypt. If they can, they will force the Pharaoh to oust me. How do we find out about their plots? Don't worry. If God wills it, he will provide the means. Excellency, your friends request permission to enter. friends. Listen carefully. There are a few important things you must do for me. Firstly, I have decided to appoint Malik in charge of the group. He is very wise and experienced. He and Mimi Sabu will be the link between you and me. Now, unfortunately, we have a fight between us and the priests in Amon Temple. Their aim is to destroy us if we do not remain alert, they will succeed in damaging us. The first thing you must do is spread the story of the defeat of Amon Temple priests in interpreting Amenhotep's dream and the victory of the One God over other gods. There are many people who do not know the story. Knowing the story may weaken people's belief in Amon and the Temple priests. I want you to know also that you are my only capable and trustworthy friend. As my eyes and ears, you must be careful that the hoarders do not hide wheat and the priests do not plot against the government. And if they do, please inform me immediately. Last of all, in order to cultivate extensively, we need a large amount of seeds. Your duty is to find out how much wheat is in Egypt and inform me. In the future, you will have even heavier responsibilities, which I will explain at a later date. In Arus and Mimisabu, our friends are tired and need a place to live. Please help them. God bless you all. I will see you later. Thank you, Excellency Yusuf. Thank you, Excellency. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Excellency. Excellency Mama, please stay. You are a wise and experienced man. I want you to help me manage Egypt's affairs as my advisor. I need someone trustworthy like you. I have led and guided many caravans in the past. But as of today, the prophet of God will be my leader. I will willingly do whatever you ask of me. During the late Amenhotep's time, you proved that you would do anything to reach your own goal. I asked you through this maid to stop acting recalcitrantly and illegally and to apologize to Amenhotep before he became angry. But instead of apologizing, you continued to plot, almost killing my husband, my son, and myself. And poor Apophis fell victim to that plot. Lady T is angry now, but the truth is different to what you think. We were innocent. That plot was the Papas's and his alone. All the same, the decisions are made by my son. I am unable to interfere in his rule. I have a new problem these days. My problem is that I don't want a foreign enemy of the gods ruling a country like Egypt. Do you know what it would mean if Yusasif is permitted to spend all Egypt's wealth on wheat? It means we will have a weakened government in the future with no support and therefore open to invasion, invasion by its neighbors. A country with no assets with which to mobilize its troops. 
Did you know that the only people who will benefit from the storing of all our wheat are just a handful of wealthy people? Also, what kind of stupid farmer is going to give his wheat to the government for free during the time of a famine just so that he can beg for it again later? These are an inexperienced youth's imaginings. He must be stopped. Supposing you are correct, what can I do? The young Amenita respects his mother. You must advise him. Must our learned old people and fresh new rulers lie down to let a Canaanite shepherd rule us? But Amenhotep likes you, Zarsif. I do not think he will listen to me. What would you do if you knew Yusasif wanted to rule? He may even kill Amenhotep, in order that he may take over his position. At the moment, you cannot see this. Yet be certain that this young man has plans for us. You must prevent his growth. Did you notice, my lady, that he has brought in criminals from Zavira prison, and he has given them full authority? Why did he not choose someone like Haramha, who is brave? Why didn't Amenhotep appoint him in place of Yusasif? I have told you what I must, out of concern. It is your decision. It would be best if this meeting was kept a secret. Incorrect interpretations and false explanations will spread, and I am not in the mood for that. I no longer know who is a servant and who is a traitor. I shall go and talk to Amenhotep. Either way, a foreigner must not be in charge of Egypt's affairs. All right, you can go. I will inform Excellency Yuzarsif. Go before someone sees you. You must get rid of him. Why, Mother? What is Yuzarsif's sin? It's a shame that in Thebes, the city of Amman, the place where everybody devoutly worships Amman. An enemy of Amman is in power. But I don't think that Yuzar Sif is seeking power. Removing or retaining makes no difference to Yuzar Sif. We are the ones who need him. Only he can help Egypt survive this crisis. 
You may as well say that all Egyptian people are dead, that we need to seek help from a foreigner heathen to manage our affairs. Why not choose men like Haramhab? Why have you allowed Yuzarsif to give responsibility to a bunch of criminals? I too like Haramhab and am aware of his abilities. But people suit particular jobs. The inmates of Zavira have been trained by Yusasif for many years. They are not the same old prisoner. They clearly regret their past mistakes and are now capable managers. I was present during your father's reign. I've seen inside the Egyptian government for many years. What I say is to the benefit of you and the government of Egypt. He will waste all your wealth and capital. Do you know how vulnerable Egypt will become from emptying the treasury to buy wheat? Do you know how weak you will become by giving the farming land to the farmers? And how much it will destroy your wealth? I think you're justified. If Yuzar Sif is unable to answer your concerns, he must be removed. He must give convincing reasons. I promise you that. I have said what I must. It is your decision. Bear in mind that he may even plot to kill you and take your place as our ruler. Now who predicted that one? Not just me. The temple priests feel the same. <laughs> they are capable of any slander or conspiracy.